So today I'm bringing you guys a review and unboxing of yet another pair of Bluetooth headphones. I wasn't actually planning on buying any more since I already have two. The BT9909 and the BT5800 by Excelvin. And those were great and they looked decent, but months ago I found a slightly used Monster iSport Freedom complete inbox for $8 at Goodwill. And I've been using that ever since. The other ones I had were great, but they just don't compare to a pair worth $150. So basically, my other two just sat collecting dust until my wife decided to try them. And she loved them until she lost one pair and broke another. So we decided to go to Brandsmart and look for a pair there since they have a huge selection of Bluetooth headphones and they're often pretty cheap and I didn't feel like waiting for shipping. I was expecting to spend like $10 on a pair for her, but then she made the discovery of the year and found these going for $5. $5 retail for a Bluetooth headset in the US, no matter how low in quality, is just insanely low. So we picked up four. One for her, one for me, and two for my kids. Because, I mean, why not? They're only $5. So here are two of the four that I purchased. They only came in two colors. So we got two in each color. And here's what the packaging looks like. It's, uh, it's just the headphones and clear packaging with a box in the middle, which is housing the optional headphone jack cable, which turns these into regular headphones even if the battery dies, and a micro USB cable to charge them and instructions. All right, and now to open these up. So here's both cables and the instructions. And the same thing here. So, I mean, there's nothing here. There's the logo, probably can't see, but they swivel a little. And there's the uh, indication light, the micro SD card, your buttons, microphone, charging port, and audio jack. And unlike the uh, Excelvin, both Excelvins, these uh, do fold up. So it makes like a horrible horrible click when they fold up that it, it, it sounds like they're gonna break like to see that so I'm not a huge fan of that the, I mean I, I'm I appreciate that they fold up but I probably won't be folding these up because I feel like I'm gonna break them so as far as features these actually have the same as the BT 9909 and the BT 5800 they're all Bluetooth they have a built-in microphone for phone calls in case you get a call while you're using these. Playback control buttons, which um, is just referring to the buttons, which can be used to pause your music, change the song on your phone without touching your phone. Uh, it's got the micro SD reader, which is uh, just basically makes these into an MP3 player without the need of a phone. And FM radio, which is a pretty lame tacked on feature that almost never works as well as you might want. Just do what I do and just use iHeartRadio and use the Bluetooth feature and uh, you achieve the same thing but with better reception. And all of these headphones actually have more features than my more expensive iSport pair since these don't have memory card slot or radio function. Okay, so the only real difference between these headphones um, and the Excelvin headphones are the design and build quality. The 5800s have by far the best build quality and the 9909s have LEDs that light up with the music. The design here is more along the lines of Beats and I'm pretty sure that's not accidental. They even have the, you know, the metal plate. But the plastic used is extremely cheap feeling and it feels like one drop and these would shatter. So there isn't much I can say about them. The design looks good but feels cheap. The sound is average. It sounds good but it's not amazing. Uh, the biggest thing going for it is the price. For $5, these are a steal. I didn't even need one, but I got one for myself anyways, just in case. I am still very surprised to have found Bluetooth headphones going for so little. If you see them and you don't already own Bluetooth headphones, definitely pick these up. Pick up a bunch. Uh, get them as gifts. You won't find headphones with Bluetooth capabilities so cheap outside of China. And that's pretty much it. Thank you guys for watching, and I want to give a shout out to everyone who subscribed. I pride myself in not begging for subscriptions at the end of my videos, like most YouTubers, but every time I get a new subscriber, it makes my day. So, thank you all so much. Take care.